Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com. <coughs> Hello all you hardcores out there. Just a quick end, just to uh, finish off this camera chip that I've had in glove box a couple of weeks. So we're at Cameron's now, so I thought we'd just use this bit of uh, storage that's left on it. Somebody's asked me a question, a good question, in the comment section uh, regarding Dave Allen. Uh, Somebody's asked why is uh, David a training fighter when he hasn't put much effort in for him, himself. Uh, well, usually the best trainers are usually them that don't win belts, aren't they? If you go by statistics. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I think that Dave might be a good trainer. Maybe he can learn from what mistakes he made. I don't know. Is Dave treading water, Porky? If not, what's he learning on Big Ron's shows? <laughs> He's out in a few weeks on a Big Ron show, isn't he? So, they say, but I'm a firm believer that with David, you've got to believe it when you see it, because problem is, they want paying good money to fight him, don't they, these fighters? And show don't, don't, don't generate that, so he's probably... Gonna have to work something out with Big Ron, same as Big Max. Although we shouldn't be putting Max in the same uh, sentence as Dave, but why don't they put them in the uh, same ring? Dave's looking for a quick win, Max wants to get out there. Why not? That's how I look at it. Look at it. They could both fight for free, couldn't they? For opportunity to get on fight zone. I'm sure Big Ron will sell them it, sell the, them it like that. Uh, what would you do, Porky, if you were giving Dave Allen advice? Well, I'm not, and Dave Allen's got Dave Allen's got an head like concrete. Right? He'll always go his own way. That's why the only belt he's got is a snake belt. He ain't got a belt because he doesn't listen. His head's like concrete. But uh, if he did listen to me, I'd say get rid of all them kids that you're training. <coughs> get one of your mates to train them instead. <laughs> I'd say take a year out, a full year, and just train hard for a year. Get you sent down to us a comfortable fighting weight, 17 stone, and train hard. It's not rocket science, is it? A young man, when David broke at Dennis's as a young man, and I mean young, he was on a wage, and he was on paid to fight, and all he had to do was go to the gym every day. If you can't do that at that age, you're not going to be able to do it 10, 12 years later, are you? <laughs> Would I want to see him in with Max? Yeah. Let Max show us this ramrod jab he keeps going on about him and Big Ron. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see Max fighting, but Max is not so keen now. Uh, a full year of fitness. Uh A full year of fitness training is what White Rhino needs to give himself the best opportunity. And then if he fails, he can say, well, I give it my best shot. Because this time last year, when I was saying, take a year out, take a year out, that year's come round now, hasn't it? And I said it before a couple of years ago, didn't I? So we're now at a stage where it's years and years and years, isn't it? Since David's fought. I mean, since David Price. Let's have a look. Let's have a look since so David Price. Let's have a look. I bet it's four year. Four or five year. Right. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Dave Allen's had five fights. In five in, since July 2019, he's had five fights. What's that? Five year, one every year. What is that? 
that's not good enough is it it's not good enough at all now hopefully big ron can get him a couple of quick wins and then he can start doing the business but this is what i see happening i see the white rhino seeing big ron off with his two deals and then going and getting a deal with somebody else that's what i see happening big ron will see that happening as well because he's not behind the door but Fighters, boxers, trainers, managers, they've all got to be cunning, haven't they? Because they're all out to do each other. They come with smiles, but there's no friends. It's money. <laughs> but I think if Dennis was smart, he'd get Dave Allen two quick fights and then have a deal with Dave to cash him in against Johnny Fisher. But a fit Dave Allen flogs Johnny Fisher on the spot. AKA Elmer Fudd. Flogs him on the spot. Big stiff! He's a big stiff that likes Egg Fool Young. That's it. But little Johnny Bosch, he's not been in a firefight yet, has he? White Rhino's been in Tower Inferno about seven, eight times. So, take a year out, White Rhino. Sack all them Klingons. Full year of fitness training. You know what I mean? And you might get the It's Big Freeze uh, rematch. You never know, do you? But it's better than treading water, isn't it? Fighting once a year. That's how I look at it anyway. So, I always wanted to know, though. There's only Dave Allen will know this. We're out bored. Past a kid, 9-1-1. One one, with 10 amateur fights. To fight the WBA interim world champion. Who'd been to two Olympics. And a Southpaw. How can we put a kid in, basically? Not much better than somebody you get out of Witherspoons on a Friday night, charged up full of beak and uh, Bacardi. Do you know what I mean? And fed him to Lewis Ortiz. That still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Eddie Hills, you wrong un. With a tea, with a uh, tea bag on your head. It's a wrong un, that, Eddie. It's a wrong un move, that. <laughs> But Eddie has this draw, doesn't he, with fighters, whereas they get drawn in, don't they? The fighters get drawn in to uh, be performing monkeys for Eddie, don't they? Eddie sprinkles a bit of magic, and even when he's a sod to him, he can, like, talk him round, can't he? Because he's got that bit of gift at gab, hasn't he? But this is how I look at it. When your tongue's opening up like that from the side, why would you want to go work with that person? eight or nine more times after they've done that to you and you've come out in it with after tax not even 10 grand after stoppages for getting the life flogged out of you so this is how i look at it right somebody like louis Ortiz now would be zile zhang wouldn't it an interim champion wbo would johnny fisher for twelve thousand quid would he fight Zhang? 12 grand before stoppages. I don't think he would, would he? So why should the White Rhino at 9, 1 and 1, 11 fights, go in there like that to get flogged? And I mean flogged. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And that's why I think he's owed money from boxing Dave Allen. That's just my opinion. Terribly managed fighter. You wouldn't let him manage anything, would you? I wouldn't let him manage my kids. I'd let him train them. I wouldn't let him manage them. No. I wouldn't let him advise my children if they wanted to box. Not that there's no dodgy. I just think that looking how he's managed his own career, you won't allow that. But you'd allow him to train because he looks like he's pretty patient. He is a very patient person. But as regards managing and matching people and all that, Dave. Forget it. Forget that. You'll get somebody done in. All right. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And leaving a comment. Let's have a look. Uh, there's all sorts on this chip here. Put fuel pull shots. I'm not sure if there's uh, some immediate bench press. Looking a total weapon. So, okie dokie. So that's about it. One piece out. Have a nice weekend. Pop, pop, bang.